test. Ready one, two. Okay, the, the train just passed, so you can compare. It's another day, and it's another unboxing day. And today we're gonna be um, unboxing a vlogging essential. So what we have here is a microphone. This this is the Endure ADM2 microphone. So this microphone can be used as an external microphone for DSLRs or cameras or smartphones. So look at that fine finish. We also have the shock mount for the camera and the dead cat or the dead raccoon. I'd like to call it the dead raccoon. So we have the wire here. We have two wires. This is for the camera and the other one is for smartphones. And we have the user manual. I'm not even sure who reads user manuals, but for people, you can check out this one, instructions on how to use the um, ADM2 microphone, but this is usually plug and play. So you can, there's no setting that's needed because there's no um, built-in control for it. So what we have here is another beauty. This is the Rode Video Micro, if you see that. See that, that's an expensive Rode Video Micro. And this is one of the leading brands used by vloggers or content creators. And let's do a side-by-side -side comparison with the two. The Rode Video Micro and the Endure ADM2. The Rode Video Micro has a matte finish while the Endure has a glossy finish. The look actually is pretty identical with the ADM2 having a bigger di uh, diaphragm, if you see that, and the um, Rode Video Micro has a smaller one, so I'm not sure if that would make any difference on the sound quality of the two. So let's try to uh, place this for a bit, and we're going to check... Uh, the difference between the shock mounts these the this is the mounts of the two mic um, this is the mount of the uh, Rode video micro and it is a rubber damper but the main problem is some um, I think a lot of users actually complain that the um, Rode video micro shock mount is too soft and it causes the microphone to droop a lot but the problem is the mount of the um and over adm2 is actually too stiff as well and these are the camera wires um all slightly identical um just the main difference is the color but the main problem is the other end of the and um wire is actually not curved so it's gonna have a weird angle when it's connected to the camera compared to this one and here again is the two cameras side by side so now we're gonna have to test both of them. Let's go. Yo, now so we're gonna be doing some audio test using the Rode View Mic Pro and the Andour AD M2 mic. So both have identical looks. So now we're gonna check, but, the, but the, there, there's a big price difference between between these two. So now let's try to check if there's any difference on the audio quality between the two. To check if going for the ADM2 Andour is worth it or it's better to go for a more expensive uh, Rode VideoMic Pro. So both of this mic do not have their own volume controls and do, do not have their own control. So volume would be dependent on the camera. So it's basically just an external mic with no other controls on it. On it. So let's try to check if there's any difference on the audio. We're going to start with the Andour ADM2 mic. Yo, so we now have the Andour ADM2 microphone on my camera. It's a seven Sony A7 III, and we have here the Rode Video Mic Pro, which we will test in a bit. So now let's try some spiel. By the way, I have a background music to check if uh, to check how the um, audio or the mic works with all uh, uh, background music in it but the but the microphone is actually facing me but i'm gonna turn it off in a bit but let's let's try to check hey it's edsel from armor loaded good morning test test hello hello there hello there hello there so i'm gonna try to blow the microphone as a simulation of a wind test
By the way, the video, the, the dead raccoon is currently on the microphone and also going to do a test in a bit, removing the dead raccoon from both mics. So we're just, we're just, we're just testing now with the um, dead raccoon on the, cap, uh, the microphones. Test. This is a test. 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 Hello. Hello. Oh. So we're now going to remove the dead raccoon from the mic. Test, test. Hey, this is Edsel from Arm and Loaded. How are you guys doing today? Test, test. And now we're gonna do some wind test. Yeah, how's it sounding so far? I don't know. I don't. I don't. I, I can't compare it so far because I'm gonna check it in a bit. But what do you guys think so far? Is the Andoer? worthy enough to be purchased as a beginner vlogging mic what do you guys think so now let's try to switch into the video Rode video mic pro so we now have the Rode video mic pro on the camera the own sony a7 III and let's try to test audio test test hey good morning this is Edsel from Arnold Loaded how are you guys doing today so I'm gonna do a wind test a simulation of a wind test ready one two Okay, the, the train just passed, so you can compare um, the how the mic could adapt to that uh, sound. I, the um, the train did not pass while we were testing the Andor ADM2, so we don't have control over that. So let's try to do a wind test. So now we're going to try to remove the dead raccoon from the Rode Video Mic Pro to test. Removing the dead raccoon is also a good test to check how um, these mics handle um, noise. Anyway, we now have the Rode Video Mic Pro bare without the dead raccoon, so we're going to test it. Hey, good morning. This is Edsel from Armed and Loaded. How are you guys today? And a wind test. So, do you see? No, do you hear any difference between a cheap microphone, the Andoer ADM2, between the Rode VideoMic Pro? Is there any difference? So, let me know in the comments. Leave a comment which, which, you, which you think sounds better because it's still the difference between the two is still subjective. But now let, let me try to check the audio difference from my PC and let's check your guess and my guess which has better quality matches. Let's go. Yo, uh, we have one last test to do before we check out the audio difference. Since most people actually buy um, such microphones into the camera is for vlogging so we're gonna test the quality of the audio with these two microphones in arms reach which uh, most vloggers do so hey this is Edsa from Arm Loaded how are you guys today hey 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 we have the Rode Video Mic Pro on the camera right now so let's try to switch into the Andor mic testing it in arms reach Yo, so we now have the Andor mic um, in the camera. So let's try to check the audio um, with the camera in arm's reach. So, hey, hey, hey. Good morning, guys. This is Edsel from Arm Loaded. How are you guys today? Test. This is a test. Audio. Test. Audio. Test. So, with that, like, short um test that we have done is there a big difference between the audio quality of that of the Rode video mic pro the expensive one and this andor mic which is um very cheap um compared to the Rode video mic pro so what do you guys think leave it in the comments let's try to discuss so let's try to um check the difference of the audio now yep yo wait let me check 
Yo, so I've reviewed the audio of both the Rode Video, Video Micro and the Andover ADM2. So here are my takes. So now let's try to break down the difference between uh, the Rode Video Micro and the Andover ADM2. We're going to go to the price, um, build, audio quality. Um, so with, 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 when it comes to price, the clear winner is the ADM2 since uh, it's only right around 30 New Zealand dollars or 20 US dollars while the Rode Video Micro uh, runs at around 90 New Zealand dollars so when it comes to price um, the clear winner is the ADM2 but we're gonna consider the sound quality in a bit the audio quality when it comes to build uh, they are actually roughly identical save for the um, glossy finish on the ADM2 and the bigger diaphragm on it um, the Rode Video Micro has a matte finish and a slightly smaller diaphragm. Now with, with the audio quality, I think that's what you, you have been waiting for. And I think you, you also were um, comparing the two from the video that you just watched. So in my opinion, the uh, Rode Video Micro has a fuller sound. Um, I th I'm not sure if it's because of the... Um, dead cat or the dead raccoon on it because the there's a, there's actually a difference on the sound when the um, dead cat is removed from it uh, the sound uh, sounds so muffed when the dead cat is on it well there's not much difference when the ADM2 is with or without the dead raccoon but you be the judge you actually you, you can review the audio and you can tell me in the comments if I'm wrong or not and the the audio quality though is not um, there's there's not much difference. Uh, there's not much uh, gap with when it comes to the audio quality. The the Andor ADM2 can pick up sound, while it's there's there's actually a clear reverb on it. I I, I think this is also because of the room, but because I have not really tested the um, mic uh, outdoors. But it's actually a pretty decent uh, microphone, and for its price, it's actually. Um, well performing microphone so when it comes to the Andor is worth buying over the Rode Video Micro actually I would I would say yes uh, especially if you're just starting to make content for YouTube or any other platforms you would not have the budget um, to spend for a $60 60 US, uh, US dollars um, Rode Video Micro so if you have like spare change around twenty dollars you can buy the Andor um, ADM2 and it's definitely better than based on my test with my Sony a7 III the Andor mic definitely sounds better than the built-in microphone of the a7 III and one more thing uh, based on what I read the when if, if you review the beginning of our video there were two wires that came with the Andor ADM2 the smartphone wire and the camera wire. Um, I just read um, in most reviews that um, the Rode Video Micro actually does not come with the um, phone wire, the phone aux cable. So if you want to use the microphone on your phone, you would need to purchase a separate um, cable for it. So if we're going to consider that, consider the build, consider the audio quality, I really think the Andor ADM2 is a good competitor. Is it a Rode Video Micro killer? I, I don't think so. The audio on the Rode Video Micro is definitely better. But if you consider the price, the build, and the accessories that came with it. So what, what do you guys think? Uh, do leave a comment and let's discuss uh, which you think is uh, the better um, uh, mic based on the test that we have done. Anyway, if you like this video, click like, subscribe, and share it to your friends. And see you on the next unboxing video. Peace.